Today's the feast of Our Lady of Lourdes and also the World Day of the Sick. 151 years ago, the Blessed Mother appeared in Lourdes and showed a girl named Bernadette a spring of healing water, which flows to this day. Hello, this is Father James Kubicki, and one of the things we try to help people see through the Apostleship of Prayer is that every moment, and especially moments of suffering and sacrifice, can be a powerful force for good in the world when joined to the sufferings of Jesus. Last year, for this feast, Pope Benedict taught this as well when he wrote, Mary is a model of total self-abandonment to God's will. She received in her heart the eternal word, and she conceived it in her virginal womb. She trusted in God, and with her soul pierced by a sword, she did not hesitate to share the passion of her son, renewing on Calvary at the foot of the cross her yes of the Annunciation. To reflect upon the Immaculate Conception of Mary is thus to allow oneself to be attracted by the yes which joined her wonderfully to the mission of Christ, Redeemer of humanity. It is to allow oneself to be taken and led by her hand to pronounce in one's turn yes to the will of God with all one's existence, interwoven with joys and sadness, hopes and disappointments, and the awareness that tribulations, pain and suffering make rich the meaning of our pilgrimage on the earth. Whoa, the Holy Father is pretty strong here. Our journey on earth to heaven is made rich and given meaning by our pains and sufferings? That's not what the world says, but it's the way of Jesus, the way of the cross, and we're invited to join Jesus in the work of salvation by uniting our sufferings to his, just as his own mother did.